Hi, Tech Times, Matt Rappaport here. We're here today with an exciting and shocking new product with Chris Shelsey of Pavlock. Hi, Chris, how are you? I'm doing well, how about yourself, Matt? I'm great, I'm excited to try this bracelet out. I don't know, do you call it a bracelet? What do you guys call it? Yeah, we call it a bracelet, wearable, wristband. Cool, and so uh, tell us a little bit about your company and how you came up with this idea for, what do you call it? Uh, Pavlock, so it helps you break bad habits using electric shock. So the idea came from originally Manish Sethi, the founder of Pavlock. He was, he was at Stanford. He was studying psychology and behavior change. And after he was left Stanford, he was traveling around and he found that his productivity dropped rapidly. So he was trying to find a way to kind of hone in on his productivity and not be slacking off so much. And so he ended up going on Craigslist and hiring a girl to sit down next to him and slap him across the face every time he went on Facebook. And using Rescue Time, an app to track your productivity, he saw that his productivity skyrocketed. So then he tried to find a way to make that a little more scalable, because obviously 100 million people can't have somebody sitting down next to them slapping them. So did that. And um, yeah, got a dog shot collar, reverse engineered it to shock him every time he went on Facebook. And that's kind of where Pavlock came from. So explain to me what the process was to go from idea to, I believe you, do, you were doing an Indiegogo campaign. Have you already done one? Yeah, so we did an Indiegogo campaign. Um, that was in September, and so we launched it on there. We were trying to raise $50,000. We hit that on the first day, wow. doubled it a couple days later, and by the end of the campaign, we were upwards of a quarter million dollars, which was really awesome. Yeah. Cool, and this actually is the prototype, and you decided to make it, you 3D printed it. Tell me a little bit about the design and uh, how many of these you made so far, or, and you've given out. Yeah, so we've gone through a bunch of different designs. Um, this one, as you said, it's 3D printed in a MakerBot with NinjaFlex. And these are the prototypes. We've mailed a couple hundred of them out on the Indiegogo campaign. We sold about 2,000 of them, not of those of the pre-orders, which are going to be the production units, and those are going to be shipping in April or May. Can you tell us a little bit about how it actually works? Yeah, so Pavlock, you can use it through an iPhone app and also with a Chrome extension on your computer. And then you can also manually shock yourself by hitting the lightning bolt. So if you want to go ahead and do that or you want me to do it, yeah, we'll give it a nice little click and you'll see the lights go. Yeah. One, two, <gasps> and a little bit of a shock. Little ting, little ting. Yeah, so you can scale it up or down from there. That's about 40% and you can go up to 350 volts. What was the very first use case for the device and what are some of the uh, use cases that you had in mind as well as... Uh, some of the bizarre use cases that you've seen. Yeah, for sure. So some of the main ones that we're doing it for are like smoking, for drinking, for uh, waking up on time, for not wasting time on unproductive websites, whether that's <laughs> Facebook, Netflix, porn sites, YouTube, anything along those lines. Yeah, you should stick to techtimes.com, right? Yeah, that's the best one to go to. <laughs> but um, yeah, we have a Chrome extension. You basically type in your blacklisted sites, whether it's Facebook or whatever, and then every time that page loads, it'll shock you, it'll send a shock over the internet to your device. Is right now the best use case for it, specifically website blockage? Um, not necessarily, it's really kind of pick your poison, whatever your vice is, you can really find a way to use Pavlock for it. It might not be automated at this point, but we found that actually doing it manually can work even better in some cases because if you think about it, if you were smoking and every time you went to do it and you just got shocked, you might not make the connection between the act of smoking and the shock. It might just be like a weird peripheral pain versus if you're doing it, you're bringing it up and you're clicking it, you're forced to recognize on a conscious level that like, this is bad, this is a bad habit, something that's holding me back, I want to break it, therefore I'm clicking this. Well, thanks for uh, coming in and showing us Pavlock. It's been shocking. Like I, I don't think I've said that word enough. And uh, and so where if people want to order one uh, and find out more information, where can they where can they look on the internet or? Yep, yeah, they can go to our website. It's just pavlock.com, p-a-v-l-o-k.com, and got everything up there. Cool. And you could see some videos of it being demonstrated and people being shocked in their daily routine. Yeah, we got uh, we have some video testimonials. I mean, we were we have some videos from Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, all these different things. So some cool videos up there, testimonials, info, everything you need. Thanks for watching, Mara, for Tech Times. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank